Hello and welcome. I'm Bob Lichter and I will be interviewing individuals for Kenosha Voices, an oral history project for the Kenosha County Historical Society in conjunction with Kenosha Community Media. I am a member of the Kenosha History Center and have volunteered there since 2015. We hope that you will enjoy these programs. I'm with Angie Cook, owner of Union Park Tavern in Kenosha. Hello Angie and welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. When did you get started in the business and what was your first job in the business? Well, I actually kind of grew up in the business. My grandparents had um, a little bar on 7th Avenue called the Jubilee Lounge. So um, I would say I started very early in the bar business um, and that wasn't necessarily my first job in the service industry but it became one of my first bartending jobs. I guess I started out at House of Gerhardt's as a bus person, which I loved. And um, then I worked at McDonald's for a while, which is, you know, was hard. Um, and then when I, then I was a waitress at South Fork Restaurant, which is now La Fagata. Um, and then I started bartending when I was 18 years old at the Jubilee Lounge. And my, grandpa, my grandpa and my mother taught me how to bartend and they were very particular. And um, my mom always said that she was the best bartender in town. And um, so she made sure that I was a good bartender. <laughs> and after I, well, while I was working at Jubilee, um, I also started working at the Port of Kenosha and I was there for many, many years. And I worked for John Madison and then Dan Nicolazzi after John had passed away. And then I worked at uh, Frank's Diner and I worked at um, the Country Club, that, the Kenosha Country Club. And then for many, many years I was at TG's restaurant pub for 13 years. I managed the place and that's where I got into booking music and learning how to run my own business. And then when then I just then my partner and I Ben decided to get our own business because he was passionate in in the culinary arts and I was good at the front of the house and we started on our venture for searching for our own business. And it just so happened that it was Union, I mean, it was Pete's place at the time. So Union Park Tavern, what services or what do you provide there? Well, we have a full menu um, throughout the week. Um, on Saturdays and Sundays, we have a late risers breakfast from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. And then at 11 a.m. our regular menu starts in addition. And then um, on Fridays, we are strictly fish fry. We have the same fish fry recipe since it was Pete's Place. Um, so therefore, we've won best fish fry since 2012. Um, it's excellent. We serve food from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. every day of the week, except for Saturdays and Sundays, and then, then it's 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. And then we also have mute live music just about every day of the week. We have a beautiful beer garden um, and we have fun. <laughs> How many employees do you have? We have about, um, on off seasons we have about 10 employees and then during the summertime because the beer gardens open we have about 15. And how do you find your staff and do you become friends with your staff? Well, um, actually, a lot of my staff were my friends pe previously. Um, and, or I've worked with them at different establishments. So we get our staff that way. We've tried Indeed. We also have our uh, monthly publication that we put an ad in. Um, or word of mouth. Word, word of mouth usually works the best. 
Have any uh, events affected your business, like national, local events? Um, I would say COVID affected our... The 2020 COVID? 2020, yeah. yeah. That, whole, that whole time kind of affected our business. Um, you know, I, we've, we've overcome it and we, um, you know, it, we were, we had to evolve through the, um, um, the pandemic and we had to, um, be very creative and on top of everything. Um, and yeah, that was a tough time, yeah. tough time. How did you, um... How did you adapt then? Because in 2020, restaurants were closed, correct? Yes. Well, before before the shutdown, we were only we were only serving food on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. We served um, our fish fry on Fridays from three to nine. On Saturdays, we served we did we served our regular menu from three to nine. And then on Sunday mornings, we had our late risers breakfast. And, um, and then of course on special holidays, we would make a, you know, a special dinner. And um, the sh we got the um, message that we were going to shut down on um, St. Patrick's Day. So we had all this corned beef, ca corn beef and cabbage, um, and we got a letter from a police officer. He came in and, and told us that we had to shut down. And um, so we, right away, we went online on Facebook and we sent out a message to our customers and then um, we shared it onto our own pages that um, we have corned beef and cabbage left if anybody wants to um, order, please call and we will bring it out to you. And that's when we started the curbside um, curbside service. And um, we ended up selling out of the corned beef cabbage that day. And um, after that, we were we only served the curbside um, to goes from then on through the shutdown and our customers were so, so, um, oh gosh, they were just. They were there for you. They were there for us. I mean, it was unbelievable and it still makes me emotional to this day. Um, but yeah, they were there for us. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have survived if it wasn't for them. What's a typical day at work like for you? Well, um, it's long. It it used to be very long, but we've be become we started um, relying on our staff a little bit more. Um, but um, you know, we get up and we get the books ready, do the bags, which is the books, um, and we do that for Union Park Tavern and Pavle's Lounge because we actually do have two businesses, um, and then we um, do inventory and ordering and um, making sure everything is ran smoothly. I, I do bookings, so um, which means I book all the, the music for both venues. And um, I, so we make sure that's done. We make sure that um, everything is done to run smoothly. Okay. Now here in 2024, you know, Kenosha has evolved. Kenosha has changed so much. Aren't you like in the center of a, an arts area now? Doesn't we arts? are? Um, Union Park Tavern is right in the middle of the Union Park Art District, which was deemed um, that in, I believe, 2017. It could have been 2016, um, but I think it was 2017. And there's all these little arts galleries right around that area. Um, we have the Lemon Street Gallery who puts on the Kenosha Art Market. 
Um, we have Artworks Pencilarium, and that's a great place. And we have Revision, um, and then there's a couple others, and it's a great area. And then in the summertime, Lemon Street Gallery started up um, a, an art market, which is every third Sunday of the month starting in June, and it goes all the way until October. And each year it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And, um, you know, we, we, I used to book the music for that. Um, this year I'm not because of, I have a lot on my plate and I just recently had a heart attack. So I um, need to step back from a couple things because, well, I, I do a lot at um, Union Park Tavern and a lot at Pavle's. What's the best part of your job? The best part of my job, um, I would say evolving, being creative, and the people. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I could never have a job where I just sit in one spot. Um, my mind doesn't work that way. I always have to be doing something and I always have to be thinking about five different things at the same time and it just works for me. How about the most challenging part of your job? Oh, I would say the most challenging part of my job would be right now I would say would be the inflation with everything and making sure that our customers get the best value and the best product. Okay. Well, I'd like to uh, thank you for uh, participating in the uh, Kenosha Voices, the award-winning Kenosha Voices Oral History Project. Well, thank uh, you. Put on by the Kenosha History Center and the uh, Kenosha Community Media. So thanks, Angie. No, thank you. It was an honor. It really was. I appreciate it.